desktop here. So with, as is good practice, having safety goggles, the frontline student is critically important. Don't let any visually impaired student tell you, well, I can't see, therefore I don't need safety goggles. Their feet need a line, all right? So chemical splashes can still injure you significantly, right? So several of you have asked me, well, how do you work with flames and things of that sort? And I said, I'm just going to show you that, all right? So when working in the lab bench for any visually impaired student, they have to be familiar with what they're working with. So you want your students to have ample time to examine the equipment. So this is a burner. This is our wired gauze and the ring stand and stuff. And we have a people over here, matches. You want to know where everything is. Now, the technique that I use to strike a match and to light the flame is you strike it like so, and then you trail up the side of the flame and you switch it over the top and then you drop this in the water. Can you guys see how that's going to work? Mm -hmm. Now, when you strike the match, you can hear the, mat, the flame light and you can hear the gas flowing when you release the valve, right? So these are audible indicators that a blind student can hear without having to see them. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Gas is flowing. I'll do it again.